Focus, people. Let's stay focused. It's your boy, Tone202. Okay, so this is going to be another while I left Atlanta, but it's not, this is not something against Atlanta. This is something that I just noticed when I was in, not so much in Atlanta, but in the South. And Atlanta is a huge, huge part of the South. Um, and, you know, it was dealing with black people. So I'm just going to just deal with black people. You know, but uh, this happens everywhere, and it's uh, it's about college. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I started college um, when I was 26 years old. I got a scholarship to go to Talladega, a track scholarship, because uh, at the age of 26, I could still run the mile in under five minutes. It was easy to do. Uh, my dad was an 800 runner, so I just took it to another level and just became a miler. Uh, but I was an 800 runner in, in uh, college and in the Army. But I started running longer distance in the Army because I had some guys who, you know, was really into fitness. And we used to go out at like 10 o'clock at night and just go on a five-mile run. And it was brutal. But it increased my endurance to just, you know, levels where I was racing cars for a mile you know, racing them red light to red light anyway. So, but college. So I started off in Talladega University, which is not HBCU because that's where I really wanted to go. This is after I got out of the service and, you know, I did whatever for a while. And I was like, I want to go to college. I uh, knew a woman who went to HBCU. She went to Talladega. She said, give him a call. I called him. He said, come on down. Let's see how fast you can run. Went down there and got in a track program, got a special uh, uh uh, scholarship at 26 years old. So I was an old man running with the youngins down there. Uh, nonetheless, we ran, you know, in Florida and, and all over the place, you know, major track meets. It was a lot of fun. I was still clocking 426 and the 15, 440 and the 16. And, uh, sometime I came in last, but, uh, what I did notice was a lot of the, like pledging, I'm going to tell you my story when I, this is when I was in Alabama and this is going to trickle into just the South. It's not so much Atlanta, but pledging Greek was a big thing. And here's one thing that happened in Talladega. Uh, so these guys wanted to, you know, a couple of friends, you know, I wasn't the only older guy going to college, uh, but a couple of my friends, you know, we were like, you know, 24, 25, 26 years old. We wanted to pledge, um, Alpha, I think, not Alpha, uh, Q. We wanted to be Omega Men. We didn't want to be Q Dogs. We wanted to be Omega Men is what we wanted to be. But we noticed what the Q Dogs were doing on campus and how they were influencing, you know, the young ladies and doing just wild stuff with them that we wasn't interested in doing. We was like, yo, y'all wilder for real. And one of the young ladies who was notorious for doing wild stuff. She actually approached me and wanted me to, you know, get with her. And that's like, nah, because I know these dudes just, you know, did whatever with you like yesterday. Like, you're no, like, nah, I don't want to be involved with you. She scared me. Because, I, you know, just one false claim and then next thing you know, you in that, you know, you're in that whole loop. And I was like, nah, I don't, I just saw something bad coming and I was like, I can't do it. And eventually her and her, you know, friends who was acting up like that, they ended up getting kicked off campus. But nonetheless, the push to pledge, you know, NAACP and just to belong to something. But, you know, I was like, I want to be a mega man. And, you know, but when I seen what they was doing, it was like, eh. Then I end up, you know, having uh, my child at 27 with a young lady I was, you know, trying to marry. That didn't work out, so I came back to Ohio. But he, my homeboy, was still, you know, there. And, and him and a couple other of my friends, they went online to pledge. And the guys who were already in the organization was, you know, did the whole pledge line. It was all false. It was all fake. So they did a bunch of stuff to him, and it was all fake. So I returned back down there because we was getting ready to rumble. <laughs> Plus, I still wanted to go to school in the South. But I, I came back down there because they called me, and it was like, yo, this is what they did. It was all fake lying. You know, we about to rumble. So I was like, yo, we, I was like, dang, you know, I'm a little too old for this. But, you know, they was my dudes. So I was like, ah, man, nonetheless, nothing happened. 
uh, and I'm glad it did did nothing happen. But nonetheless, I while I was in school, you know, a young lady I was dating took me to. I think we went to uh, wasn't Alabama. It might have been Alabama State or uh, we went to a big school. And uh, no, I think we actually went into Atlanta at the schools down there, and they was having this big thing with pledging, you know, Q Dog and Alpha and and um, uh, who are the other ones? Uh, the 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 pretty boys, the ones, the guys who wear red. So the Alphas wear black, the Q Dogs wear purple. This shows you how much I don't know. Then you have the 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 one guys who wear the blue and gold, and they were on our campus too. But they were like this, they were like the strange, like nerdy dudes, you know. And you also had their girl segment. I forgot what they called them, but they were like, you know, they had their own thing. But what made me curious is, you know, when I went down there and saw all this, I was like, why is there such a big push to pledge Greek? It turned me off the experience that my homeboys had. And then once I, you know, I asked a dude about the NCAACP because I was thinking about joining them. And they all act like they was better than me. And I was like, well, for one, y'all, none of y'all, none of y'all are better than me. Two, why do we, why are these, like, like why is it such a big push to pledge Greek. Like, what does that do? And why Greek? See, here's an area I don't really like to get into, which is gangs, you know, because me and somebody else been talking online about, you know, he was like, yeah, we played football and we wore bright red, but it was in a, it was in a Crips territory. So, you know, it was all bad. And I don't have anything to do with gangs. I, for one, I really don't know too much about them other than what I see. Like, I don't know anybody who was in any gang like that. Uh, and I don't get into it because I clearly don't know. So it's not my business. I've never been approached by none of those guys. Uh, and the one experience I did have, like I said, I was in Atlanta and I had the black uh, bandana in my back pocket. That's your flag, you know. Uh, but it wasn't my flag. I didn't know. It was just something that I was just wearing for style. And, uh, you know, I was warned by a young lady who, you know, I was just walking by in the shoe store and she saw me. She was like, look, take that out your back pocket or somebody is going to approach you and be like, yo, we're either going to kill you or you kill me. So I don't have no experience when it comes to being in a gang. Like, it's just, it was something that was never me. But the way I look at you know, the whole Greek experience is it's just more division. Now, some of the, now let's not act like it's just all educated and all, you know, it's, it's all academia because it's not, those guys get into it with each other, you know, and, 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 and they talk bad about each other. And the dudes who, those guys who were wearing red, I forgot who they were. They all thought they was better than us because, we're the ones who gets the pretty girls and then the ski weed chicks wearing the pink. They were supposed to be the pretty chicks. Let me tell you something, man. The ski weed chicks, some of those chicks were, I'm going to just say it, they were hoes. Like, they were getting paid. They were prostitutes. Now, I'm not saying all of them is like that because I don't know any of them. But I'm saying those chicks down there at the college I went to, and somebody's going to hate on me because of this, but I don't care. Uh, but I'm just telling you my experience. The dudes who was rocking the red, and like I said, I forgot what their organization is called. Like they just thought they were so much better than everybody else, and I was like, "Who told y'all this? Who told y'all like y'all better than?" And it just pissed me off to no end. And I was like, "Listen, if you gonna have a black organization, well, for one, if you pledge Greek, you not black. You not pledging something black. It was not created by us, okay? You know, Greeks from Greece." You know, you're pledging from a country who took us into slavery. You know what I'm saying? Greeks, Romans, they all had us into slavery. Now, eventually, there were some black Greeks, but those black Greeks were acquired because they were taken into slavery. Okay, so this is why I just didn't get it after a while. I was like, why have this division at an all-black school? Why are we doing this to each other? You know what I'm saying? Why, like, why is there a difference between the Omega Men and Q-Dogs? 
but y'all both have the same, you know, insignias and a big horseshoe, but not unless y'all wild and doing crazy stuff that is just in, it, 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 it has nothing to do with being a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you a cute dog when you're young and in college? And then when you get older, you're an Omega man? Like, help me understand that. You know what I'm saying? And the dudes who's running around with A506, some of those dudes was gay. And they were notoriously gay. They were sleeping with each other. And it left a bad taste in my mouth for that experience because I know all of them are not gay. You know what I'm saying? And it just, but when I looked at that, it, the reason why I left a bad taste is because they were being teased because of it. Now, it wasn't like, okay, you're gay, everything is cool. No, other people, other organizations were talking bad about them because of it. So I just I just didn't understand the whole organization and us coming up as a historically black college all in it together, built by people who were dark-skinned like me, but nonetheless, they had the brown paper bag thing uh, where if you were darker than a brown paper bag, you couldn't even go to school at Talladega for a while. And they did this all through HBCUs, Atlanta, uh, Louisiana, all of them, they did this. And when I was there also... The people who were running a school, the presidents who were running a school, they were taking our money from us. We had to actually all out have an all out meeting. It was like having a strike. We were like, where is our money going? Because the food is bad. The, the places are falling apart. Come to find out that they came from Louisiana. And I forgot what school. I had a girlfriend and went to school. And another HBCU, they got kicked out of there. The whole team came and started running Talladega. And the same thing happened there. So, look, as as black people, especially black in the South, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, there, there's Greek, everybody pledges Greek everywhere. This is not just in Atlanta. But I went down there to get the black experience. You know what I'm saying? I went down there because I'm black. I, you know, I grew up in a black neighborhood. You know, I know white people. I love some white people. I ain't got no issue with them. But I'm black. You know, black people constantly let me know, oh, you dark skinned, you black. White people constantly let me know I'm black. I'm like, fine, let me go get the black experience. I didn't want to go to a white school. Look, I could have had a scholarship to go to a white school. I had a letter to go to. I had two letters, one to go to Slippery Rock right when I was fresh out of high school and another one to go to Penn State so I could play in the Big Ten because I broke a record in high school football. Uh, for the most consecutive hits in one game. Uh, so I could have went to those white schools, but I joined the service after I got out of high school, and then I wanted the black experience. I got the black experience. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, this isn't just towards Atlanta because everybody pre pledges Greek, but I never understood the division. Why do we divide ourselves? What secret society are we in that we have to be divided in order to be somebody? You have to ski we and now you're special. You know what I'm saying? You swoo whoop or whatever the hell that means. And now you're 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 better than these chicks over here. Or now, you know, you dudes is A5, you better than these guys over. Get out. The division and the hatred that we we will pick anything to, to to divide us. We will choose anything to talk about each other, to to downplay each other's worth, to discriminate in, against each other, to demarcate our territory that we don't even own. To rip each other's pride apart instead of building it up and then pledge to some white people who have nothing to do with us. Greek has nothing to do with us. Nothing. I just don't see why you wouldn't pledge to a black organization. I just don't understand it. And and, and it just you're just trying to assimilate with people who hate us. And people who kill us, kill our children. That's what you're doing. And I, I just don't get it. Once I stepped back and saw it all, I was like, there, there's no damn way that I would pledge anything or or anyone in my family. If they came to me, I'd be like, don't, don't you do it.
Don't you pledge to get nothing like that. I'm out.